Daily Graphic this morning says Obwasi Mine bounces back. Anglo Gold Ashanti Pours Fares Gold. Giba sues NCA. New plan shut down aborted. Government intervenes. Government won't be lured into operating outside budget, according to Vice President Baumia. And Ofuswamp of a trial, witness abandons prosecution. Uh, as a fund residents call on assembly to open police post. Why is it locked? We don't know. And um, well, the Ghanaian Times. After six years shut down, Anglo Gold Obwasi Mine is back. Pours fares gold as it's begin, it begins production. Gibas use AGNCA over conditional access to free to air uh, TV broadcast. And Nooks urges political parties EC to dialogue over compilation of voters' register. At the new, the annual New Year meeting, report corrupt appointees to my office. President appeals to diplomatic call. The Daily Statement, First Lady speaks up for preventative health care. Obwasi Mines are back in business and President excited by first gold poor since 2004. Students unite behind Electoral Commission, urges parties to let it do its work. The Daily Guide, report corrupt officials to me, Nana tells diplomats, allow EC to work, nukes. And man kills rival for bonking wife in toilet. Unipass deal takes off. Drama at a foot trial. Witness denies statement. That's uh, what we have there. And um, business finder. Obwasi mine pours fares gold since 2004. President says it's a new beginning for Obwasi. KK Sapon heads NPG board and Giba sues NCA and the Attorney General. My guest this morning from the side of the NDC, the Honorable Al Hassan Suhin, is the Member of Parliament for the Tamale North constituency, and he's in the race one more time, hopefully to win it. We're here to receive a, a representative from the side of the MPP. What we do, we'll introduce him or her and give uh, the individual a seat. Elijah, welcome. How are you doing this morning? I'm terrific, Johnny. Thank you very much. Good morning. Good morning. How are the people in your constituency doing? I'm, I'm very sure that they are all doing well. They are fine. And let me take this opportunity to extend my, uh, you know, uh, morning greetings to uh, all our viewers, especially okay. the constituents of Tamale North, mm. and also uh, wish uh, my big brother uh, belated happy birthday uh, since you started on that note. Right. And as well, I'm sure, uh, you know, take the cue from you. Mm. Uh, Ibrahim Mahama yes, celebrated yes. Yesterday his birthday we yesterday. Him, yeah. A happy belated birthday to him. And let me uh, convey my heartfelt condolences also to uh, Mr. Alex Mould oh. and the Mould family. Uh, okay. Today is going to be a very, very uh, difficult uh, one for uh, him, especially and the entire family. Mm. I wish them God's grace uh, to uh, carry through and mm. may the soul of uh, uh, his daughter mm -hmm. rest in perfect peace. Right. Okay. Let, let's talk about new plan. Yesterday, um, if you would remember, Honorable Sam George and uh, Honorable Japa Mesa were here. They agreed that government has failed, not just this government. Governments after the last contract given to New Plan by President Kufo, which ended in 2008, and I think a, a bit of it also from the earlier days of the Mills Mahama administration. And for nine years, the, the New Plan uh, company has not been engaged in anything uh, useful for government, despite the fact that we own 55%. We are also told that government is asking for a two month window to uh, avert the, the earlier shutdown that's been announced. So, any, What's on your mind this morning? I have been asking the question why we have the capacity to assemble buses and use durable buses, and yet we go and buy from outside. And we want to industrialize. I've been wondering why that's happening at all. Well, um, Johnny, I think that um, my sentiments are not different from yours. Mm. Um, it's a cause for worry, mm. and I will... Uh, associate myself uh, uh, with some of the comments that I had mm. uh, my colleagues share yesterday on this platform. Mm. Uh, the fact that as a government, uh, we have not done enough mm. to support uh, local uh, production. Uh, that, I am very sure, uh, has the potential 
to not only improve the economy mm -hmm. but also uh, create jobs and you know uh, improve livelihoods mm -hmm. of families mm -hmm. and we all know i mean it is something that is very basic mm -hmm. and is taught uh, you know in 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 economics that i mean the government uh, is the biggest spender especially in this part of our uh, world mm. and the power the purchasing power that government has you know uh, can be used uh, in a way to stimulate uh, the economy and to you know um, ensure that we uh, improve the economy generally so if over the years we have been lamenting about our inability to uh, grow indigenous businesses as a result of governments sometimes mm. um, if you like uh, inability mm. I don't want to use a harsher word to spend our hard-earned currencies mm. in productive places locally mm -hmm. um, I think that it is high time we moved from the lamentation to look at what practically uh, can be done mm. to support some of these things. But, you know, I have also uh, been, you know, following some of these discussions. Mm. And I'm not one to just put the blame squarely mm. on government. I try as much as possible uh, to look at all sides of, you know, the situation and what are the reasons that mm. could also be making it difficult for us to you know improve local production they, they say that in the in manner that in we 2016, want to. for example they paid a total of 173 thousand dollars to buy the shares you know some of government's shares yeah. about 20 percent or so yeah. because they wanted to to be able to own and and go and borrow and all yeah. of that they paid that money to government and they still haven't received the shares and mm -hmm. nobody has said anything about it so Literally, we're taking their monies, but we have not given them what they're asking for to make them viable. Yeah, that's, that's another discussion. I'm sure the people who, you know, will <coughs> know how the transaction went will have better right. uh, explanations right. to, to give. But I'm looking at, you know, local production generally and okay. how uh, government power of purchasing or mm -hmm. purchasing power, right. uh, we all know basically can be used mm -hmm. to improve that local production. Right. But how that is not happening? Mm -hmm. And why some of these businesses also, uh, you know, are not diversifying in other areas. I don't know what limits uh, the company, for example, from taking advantage of the informal sector, where we have a lot of trotros. I'm sure the trotros, private trotros that people buy in this country are more than even... Uh, government purchases. Mm. And that is not to say I'm discounting what government can right. do. I've already said that government mm. is the biggest spender mm. and it is important mm. that it spends in a manner mm. to improve mm. our local industry. But <laughs> aside of that also, it's mm. important that we look at various ways mm -hmm. through which you know we can also help ourselves as a people. So I am asking myself why, for example, New Plan is not able to take advantage of the private you know, individuals' investment mm -hmm. in the transport sector. Mm -hmm. why, why, why is it not able to... Is it because cost of production, mm -hmm. you know, is mm -hmm. so prohibitive mm -hmm. that the private individual may not be able to afford the buses that they produce? Mm -hmm. Is it not possible to uh, uh, manage the cost of production in such a way that perhaps some kind of buses can be produced for our economy okay. uh, and, you know, priced reasonably for the private sector. Because, look, the private investment in public transport mm. in this country is currently bigger than government investment. They, I'm saying, sure you they're, agree they're with They're saying me that, look, that. they have asked government to stop importing coaches and to also reduce the import duties on the parts that they use. For example, they have a few of them that they have assembled, but they're asking for government to give them coaches, for example, mm. as the biggest shareholder mm. and they say look these things are not coming mm. in spite of the fact that that fact they are doing a lot of repair works for neighboring countries mm. and for private people and even for some government institutions mm. so that's what they are living on mm. they are not producing you know Johnny, i understand you but are, you see elsewhere mm. elsewhere the private sector is 
a producer of liquidity. liquidity. Mm. I mean, they, 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 they create capital. That's why they are, I mean, capitalism, that is where that right, word comes from. Right. So the private sector creates capital. Mm. You know, apart from what government can also do to support the private sector, they mm. create capital elsewhere right. in other economies. But it seems to me that in this country, mm -hmm. uh, and, mm -hmm. you know, you can't fault people that much because, like I already indicated, <sighs> government is the biggest spender. But it seems to me that more and more private companies in this country mm -hmm. tend to be consumers of capital okay. instead of, you know, <clears throat> creating, <throat> you know, capital. So I am looking at, okay, the government capital that is there, which as a local business it is entitled to, mm -hmm. what other ways can the business also use to mm. create its own capital? Okay. Apart from the government, you know, uh, capital, mm. which I agree that mm. they may be entitled to by virtue of the fact that they are operating here, they are creating employment for uh, 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 Ghanaians, and they are also, you know, their production is also helping the economy in a way. But what else mm. can they also look at in terms of, you creating capital, yeah. not just for themselves, mm -hmm. but also for the economy. That's why I'm looking at, I will want to find out what the limitations are. It okay. is possible that they have genuine reasons right. why they cannot tap into the opportunity that exists mm -hmm. as far as private Pricing investment. And all of yes, that. as far okay. as private investment in public transport is mm -hmm. concerned in this country. But until I hear that, mm -hmm. I want to believe that it is an option mm -hmm. that maybe other businesses should be looking at instead of just solely focusing on government all the time. Even though, yes, government mm -hmm. must also be seen to be moving towards, you know, spending in ways that will help uh, you know, uh, local production. Okay, thank you. We've been joined by Nana Damwa. He speaks for the Energy Ministry. Nana, welcome. Thank you. Good morning. How are you doing? I'm good. Government has intervened in the uh, what would have been a shutdown by Friday of New Plan, and there's a two month window that's been opened for conversations to be had to save jobs, to make uh, the business more viable, and to improve profitability. Question is, why did it take us so long? And not, I'm not asking uh, the Akufuado government. I'm asking generally, for nine years, <coughs> we have not shown them love. What could be the reason, despite the fact that we're buying buses and we're not showing our own love? Thank you very much. And good morning to you. Good morning to your listeners as well. Um, this is, I must confess that this is not a matter that I'm very much abreast on. Okay. But um, generally, you might want to say that, first of all, I think it's a good thing the government has intervened to ensure that at least jobs are saved and your plan is kept alive. Mm. That, that is something that is, is also in line with the government's um, idea okay. of being able to industrialize this country. There are, of course, very obvious questions that we might want to ask, as mm. you have said, mm. why did it take us so long? But I'm also happy that in the next two months, as we have been promised, mm -hmm. these conversations are going to be had. Um, rather than to you know assume mm. a set of facts and then proceed to give an analysis based on those assumptions that mm. I'm going to sit here and make. I would rather say that I would hope that I would want to hold on to all of these things mm -hmm. and mm. then um, wait for these discussions to go on and even keep myself more abreast of these issues before we attempt to uh, mm. you know, conduct a surgical operation of you know, what, why we have gotten here and where we have to move <coughs> from okay. here. But generally, mm. I think that the ideas that have been mooted around the table are, 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 are good. Um, maybe government needs to make more investments in, in, in the company, mm. not just by giving them money, but actually purchasing their Purchase end products mm. as well. We all agree that we need to buy more of the made in Ghana things. Mm. I believe that uh, Kantanka has been given quite a, a boost in, mm. in, in, in some of the recent things that have been happening. I'm also aware that a package was put together for VW mm. and other countries that were, uh, sorry, other companies mm. that wanted to set up mm. manufacturing plants right, in Ghana. Do we, are we going to look at the fact that uh, do these things already extend to new plan mm. or we can include new plan in, in that package as well? There are very good folks at the Ministry of Trade and Industry. Mm. Uh, they've continued to work very hard and I want to, you know, I want you to, for example, engage them mm. and find out exactly what the details of, of, of this are mm. so we can have a constructive discussion moving forward. Mm. But generally, I think it's good that government has intervened. Mm. We've kept jobs alive. We've kept people alive. The company is also kept alive. Mm. And let's see how far 
we're able to go within the next two months mm -hmm. in addressing these matters. Okay, you also share your thoughts with us. If you're a worker at uh, your plan, tell us how this makes you feel at this point. The fact that government has intervened, there's a two-month window and the possibility of the shutdown uh, not happening this Friday, as had been announced earlier by the French partner, and all of that. Share your thoughts and comments. With John, me. maybe yes. just one, uh, 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 one second. What? I, 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 I read the story, okay. and I really, really do not know the nature of intervention yet. Okay. So, I think that we must. It's just a window. We must. We must. We mm -hmm. must. We must not celebrate yet. I think that it's a window to talk. Okay. You know, in the before today. Uh, it was as if government had forgotten of new plan, right. or you know, did not care about what was happening. That, that was, so that's what result, the French partner is yes, alleged. Yes. Right. So as a result, as a result of the media uh, yeah. hype around its closure, it's as if uh, some government officials have started meeting with them mm -hmm. and asking them to hold on. Right. So we don't know the nature of intervention yet, mm -hmm. and so it will be too early for us to begin to celebrate that, oh, it's been saved. Mm. I think that let's encourage those talks, mm. let's encourage those discussions, and let's hope that those discussions will lead to an arrangement mm. that will work not only for government, but for I, the I, company I heard the uh, well. Deputy Minister for Trade, Carlos Ayankra, say that, look, they cannot allow, government cannot, for example, allow new plan to go down. Yeah. And this was at the time that the French partner who owed 45% of the shares had threatened to, to chicken out. Government, it says government owes 55% of the shares. And so it expects government to come to the table yeah. for them to talk if they want them still around. Yeah. Or so give them the 20% that they are buying. So this window, what would have been a shutdown yeah. by Friday, yeah. is now being extended so that but they can talk. I mean That's what I mean. Loss. So, yeah. I'm even at a loss Why when, are you, when you loss? say that you don't know the nature of the intervention, so we shouldn't celebrate clear. Listen, an intervention is an intervention. Mm. The company had already said, we are going to shut down by Friday. Government has come in and said, no, do not shut down by mm. Friday. Uh, let's open discussions over the two months and find a permanent solution to this. Mm. Is that an intervention? At the very least, is that an intervention or otherwise? So what is important here is, government has acted to prevent the shutdown of the company. Mm. Government has acted to save jobs. Government has acted to keep a lifeline in place to mm. ensure that we are able to come up with a better, more permanent mm. solution. As to whether we want to, you know, debate on the semantics, mm. as to does this you know, constitute an intervention or otherwise, I think we can do better than that. Okay. In the meantime, they are losing 260,000 every month. Uh, because they are running their machines and nobody is buying anything. But, well, let's move on. You, your, your thoughts are very important to us. Please send them in. Well, page three of the Daily Guide says, Report corrupt officials to me, President Kufuado. President Kufuado has opened the floodgates for foreign envoys with evidence of corruption against any member of his appointees to report them to his office. That this, he believes, is one of the surest ways to get corrupt officials to face the full rigors of the law. And uh, should you, members of the diplomatic corps, be notified of any evidence of corruption against any of my appointees, I insist that they be shared with my office to enable action to be taken on the matter that is better for our relations than unspecified generalized uh, pronounce, pronouncements on corruption. That, that's what he said when he met the members of the diplomatic corps at Pediasi Lodge in the eastern region somewhere. So really, I'll start this one with you again. The, the president for the umpteenth time has asked that if you have evidence of corruption presented to me this time is not to the local folks we have gone global and we're asking them to certainly someone will say the president is committed to the fight against corruption do you side with him johnny the president has been crowned internationally unfortunately as the west you know president we have ever had in this country in terms of his fight against corruption. Who the, West, so? inter the Transparency International. Mm. It's an international agency and according to his records, his performance in the fight against corruption so far is the worst. And that is, you know, mm. the crown of shame that he wears. But unfortunately, 
when you listen to him, mm. it's as if he has conveniently and deliberately forgotten what corruption is and what constitutes corruption. You think so? Sometimes I think so. Why do you think so? Because, you see, this was a man who in discussing corruption when he was in opposition, mm -hmm. for example, said that he will not appoint a friends and family government because he taught that bred corruption. But he has conveniently and deliberately forgotten that pledge mm -hmm. and goes on to justify the nepotism that we see in his government. Mm -hmm. And if you read the latest Transparency International report, okay. one of the recommendations to deal with the perception, perception of corruption in this country in that report mm -hmm. is for the president to deal with his nepo, 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 nepotistic government. Okay. That's what the report says. Yeah, I mean, it's one of the recommendations. Nepotistic, Nepo they use the nep word nepotism. Yes, they use the word nepotism. They need to deal with nepotism in government. Mm. Yes, it's one of the make, recommendations. Make progress, yeah. So it is clear that he has conveniently or deliberately forgotten what even constitutes corruption. So when he touts himself as being incorruptible and one that doesn't tolerate corruption, mm. you wonder if he is living in Cuckoo's land. He's asking for evidence. Look, he if even in this even it. in this deliberation with the international community. Mm. He cites PDS shamelessly as one of the reasons why he is against corruption. Really? PDS. And so you cancelled it because you don't tolerate corruption. Yet no one is held responsible. How do you convince me that it had some corruption things in it? Why did you cancel it because of corruption, yet no one is responsible for it? Why? Why? I mean, you tell me, you tell me that you canceled this mm. because somebody wanted to steal. Attempting to steal is a crime. Or somebody wanted to engage in corruption, so you cancel it. But you don't tell us who. He says the war, you don't punish anybody. The, the president says the war against corruption will not be won overnight, but with political will, it can be done. Exactly. That's what he doesn't have. He doesn't? Because elsewhere... Elsewhere, even when corrupt, for example, I'll give you an example. And sometimes I think that, you know, um, it's a shame. Look, the Ameri deal. Mm. President Mahama was accused of engaging in corruption as far as that deal was concerned. Mm. And when he came into power, he said he was reviewing it. What did we get? My brother here lost his boss as a result of that Ameri deal. In fact, and I believe it's because his boss had the presence of mind. And maybe because he has worked in other jurisdictions to resign. If not, the president wouldn't have had the political will to fire him. Because after his boss, because after his boss left that job, mm. we saw the Oslo Norway Chancery deal. Mm. And the minister is still at post. What is the difference between the Ameri deal, which we were told the minister wrongly negotiated, mm. leading to a possible inflation and the chancery, the Oslo Norway chancery deal. President says 21 of What's the difference? Of but you see, because that trial. minister, because the foreign affairs minister mm. doesn't have the maybe the same mind that Bache Jaco had, she's still at post. President says because the man, the Galamse fighter at the Flagstaff House, the one in charge of Galamse, caught on tape receiving money, doesn't have the same mind. As Bwache Ajaku, he's still at post. The president says... Because the president cannot crack the whip. Of he has appointed his family and friends, mm. and he, 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 he has been saddled by the familiarity that he's unable, the he's unable the president to... The president says 21 to, to of Joe Mohammed's appointees are standing trial, and that's a plus for him. Again, that is shameful. Why is that shameful? Because, you see, in opposition, he and his you know, apparatchiks mm. held lectures in this country. And I remember at one of those lectures, mm. one of the highlights of that lecture was that, look, the test when it comes to the fight against corruption mm. is not the prosecution of opposition elements, mm. but the ability to deal with your own 
appointees. Investigations are going on. That's what he says. The ability to deal with your own appointees. Investigations are Which going investigation, on. Which investigation, Johnny? Sometimes let's not give this and excuses. Some, because some have been untrue. What, what investigation is going on currently? Is it the bust? If it is about the Ghana cylinder, the board that Nana Akufuado appointed came out to say the CEO was engaged in corruption. Mm. Nana Akufuado fired the board. Are you aware? So what investigation is going on? If you go to Gapoha, mm. Mm, mm. the CEO and others complained that the board chairman was awarding contracts to his family and friends, mm. which, you know, contributed to corruption and all of that. What did Nana Akufuado do? He fired the CEO. So it's as if every whistleblower in this government gets punished. That is why Ahmed Swale, God bless his soul, perhaps is dead. Because he exposed corruption. And people are not happy the, with the it. The matter has not been concluded yet in court. So I said cannot... perhaps. Did you hear me? I said perhaps. That is why mm. he's dead. Because, you see, the system has become so intolerant of people who expose corruption that you either get fired when you expose it or the worst happens to you. Okay, rapidly. And that is why, even though he promised mm. as opposition leader to use the Anas principle mm. to fight corruption, <laughs> he is now fighting the Anas principle. He and his appointees are now fighting the Anas principle and suggesting that what Anas is doing is wrong. So you're saying in, in finality that uh, the president says one thing, that's another thing. Exactly. And so for, for this evidence that is calling for, even, even if it comes to him, <coughs> sorry, nothing will happen. The president says, report to the police. Sorry. The sorry, president no. says, report to the police. Mm -hmm. Hasn't he said that so many times? Right. That when we find issues of corruption, we should report to the CID and police. That's why even in his own case, I don't know what has happened to that one, with uh, Kwesi Nyantechi, mm -hmm. the propaganda and you know uh, pr number 12 you know report to the police was done what has become of it nothing so he says report to the cid report to the police because the state institutions will act then he meets the diplomats and says reports to me report okay. are you the police you told us that you don't have the authority you don't have the power we should report to the police but if you find evidence against appointees of his government listen, you would have to send it to the listen, boss listen you? when he met the press johnny mm -hmm. he told the press or he told Ghanaians through the press okay that when we have issues of corruption against his appointees mm -hmm. we should not just you know be that and that is why he himself reports to the investigative bodies which will allow the state institutions to work right then he meets the diplomatic committee and says, report to me. It's just, it's just like what he does, okay. what he's noted for. Thank he you. will go and tell you that you should, you should, you should, I mean, on Sif March in Tamil, he says, oh, we must, we must patronize uh, 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 local tourist sites mm. so that we can boost domestic tourism. He okay. said that in Tamil, only a week later, he was in London to enjoy his holiday. Thank you. Very That's much. the nature of the president Nana, we have. Nana, Nana Dabwa, Unfortunately. Where, who told you the president was in London enjoying holiday? Oh, he, he did. I mean, check it. After the safe march in Tamale, he went to London for a holiday. Meanwhile, in that safe march speech, he said we must uh, uh, promote local tourism. Nana, so he, he he blows hot and cold. Nana, is, is really saying that President Kufado says one thing, that's another thing, and turns around to say, present me with evidence. That's what he's saying. Do you agree? Do you expect anything different from Zoeni? Like, realistically, do you expect anything different from what he has said? He has raised key questions. What are the key questions? That, for example, President Kufado says we pulled a plug on P PDS. Listen, let, me just, let me just show you something that he said. Mm. That the president says Ghanaian should report to the police. To the police, right. And then when it comes to a diplomatic call, he says the diplomatic call to report to him, the right. president. Bring the evidence. Right? And that is a double standard. You see the police and among others. This is what the president said, and I'm quoting him. Mm. Should you, in brackets, members of the diplomatic corps, be notified of any evidence of corruption against any of my appointees, mm. I insist that they be shared. Mm. Operative word, shared. Okay. With my office to enable action to be taken on the matter. That is better for our relations than unspecified, generalized pronouncements on corruption. The police is not in that equation, is it? He has not stopped them 
from giving it to any other agency. Okay. He says, feel free to do whatever it is that you want to do with it. You are saying that. He oh. say that. <laughs> allow, allow. So, you're, allow. Yes, right. so you are implying right. that by this statement, the president says, report to the police the and share the no. information with Listen, me. Listen, diplomatic relations mm. works in so many ways. They may even be gathering it and sending it outside the country for whatever purpose it is. So whatever it is that you are doing with whatever information that you are gathering, <laughs> once it becomes of evidential value, share it with my office. Okay. Where in this statement are they stopped mm -hmm. from sharing it with any other agency that they so choose to? But you do you know, and I. But you do know that in diplomatic relations, diplomats uh, 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 have a limit to how they meddle in local matters. And that is why he is encouraging them to share them with his office. Mm -hmm. Now, as to how, that has come to mean a contradiction of what the president said when he met the press, I'm baffled. Is that now, commitment see, to fight corruption coming, from the president's please, side? Please allow me to respond to some of these issues that he has raised. Because this is a confusion that exists only in his mind. Only in his mind. We are very clear on what is being said. We are very clear on what is being communicated. Mm -hmm. And the worst you can do is to create a confusion and then seek to preach that confusion when inadvertently that confusion does not exist. Realistically, let's deal with um, PDS. PDS, right. The same group of people were the ones that said it belonged to Ken Oferata, who had an interest in there. Uh, it was a family and friends deal. Mm -hmm. There were so, so many. Was that not the case? Mm -hmm. Okay. Now let's take it that what they were saying is true. It is that same government, those same individuals, mm -hmm. who you said were beneficiaries of that deal, who stopped the deal and cancelled the deal. I held who responsible. Question. Because now the deal has been way. stopped. Mm -hmm. Are investigations underway? You see, standard the investigations of investigations are still underway. Of course. Listen. So the the uh, Interior Minister Committee that I asked for over thirty days which names I got after the probe, and which report was issued. Now, what that investigation that was conducted, mm. was it a criminal investigation? The investigations were conducted. Yes, but was that a criminal investigation? Action, it could be made criminal if government So when government they presented their report, based on that report, the immediate actions that needed to be taken were taken. Mm. And then government forwarded it to the CID and other agencies. Let this be the basis upon which you investigate further. Remember, mm. When it comes to contracts and all of that, they fall within a civil jurisdiction. Right. The standard of proof is different from a criminal investigation. Now, but when in, you're in, dealing in, when you're in, dealing with government uh, or the state, when you offend the state, that's criminal. That's not civil. You see, I'm saying that when PDS the deal was about to be cancelled, that mm. was a contractual relations matter. Mm. You agree with me? That's a civil jurisdiction. Over there, the standard of proof is on the balance of probabilities. Right. Now, if you want to hold someone responsible, then it becomes beyond reasonable, beyond reasonable doubt. That is why the police CID has been mandated. That is why there are other agencies that conduct investigations. Mm -hmm. And those investigations are called criminal investigations because mm -hmm. the standard of proof is different. So one investigation was conducted mm. to deal with the immediacy of the issue. Was the state going to lose money? What were the issues? Are we safe? Are the assets of the state protected? We dealt with that and felt that no, the assets of the state were not protected enough. Okay. Something wrong had been done. Mm. That particular investigation that enabled the government to make that decision was then forwarded to other agencies. Mm. And this is what we have found. Conduct further investigations to enable us Hold the people that have to be held responsible, responsible. I'm sorry. But now we are being told mm. that nobody has been held responsible because it's been how many years? Do, and we, do we know the status of that investigation? You see, I would very much have loved to be able to speak to those matters on the show. But I believe that I'll be crossing into another jurisdiction. Okay. But mm. as, as, as a journalist, media journal, you can take that up and investigate it. Mm. So he mentioned PDS. We've dealt with this sufficiently. That okay. indeed he was just, you know, I don't know what to say about that. Okay. Now, if you speak about the fact that because of that, this president doesn't have the... Pol Listen, we've once had a president in this country before who was given a bribe. A, right. Ford, a Ford car as a bribe. A contractor. Shiraj, and Shiraj cleared that, didn't he? What did Shiraj say? Tell me. Shiraj said the president, he exercised a lack of judgment. 
A report said that, that he exercised a lack of judgment. Listen, let's not begin to, I don't know how to call it, dramatize these matters. A president, the head of state, received a vehicle from a contractor. The man says, I went to see him and he instructed for contracts to be given to me. What was happening to the procurement there and all the other, those are other matters that we may want to look at separately. And this individual then took possession of a vehicle. The explanation we're given later is that it was added to the state pool. Is that how we acquire vehicles for the state pool? Now, these people did not see anything wrong with that conduct. Mm. Nothing. We remember Jida. We remember all the... And I am not here to balance those issues. So let's it, forget it about appear it. you are balancing. Well, I'm just making a reference to, and sh to tell you that mm. you are applying one standard when it comes to your people mm -hmm. and a different standard. When it comes to the other people, that's why I said, mm. do you expect him to say anything different? Because if indeed mm. this is a standard that it seems, mm. it looks as though, perhaps, probably, mm. then in your time, we didn't have, it seems, it was. These are factual things. Mm. You turn a blind eye to those issues and forgot about them conveniently. Mm. And then now, you are encouraging us to go along the lines of, it seems, perhaps, it is possible. Are you serious? The and when someone asks you, mm -hmm. that you see, I beg you, present me with evidence. Mm -hmm. If you get evidence, share it with me. Mm -hmm. You say that is a lack of political will. What do you say to, for example, Mr. Bisu, who was caught on tape um, in the Galamse matter, the expose, and who is still at post? And that's one thing that the NDC has been using against the Nadu Dankwe See, I'm sorry, but they, they say the man has been caught on tape. That's evidential proof. Why is he still... He's been caught on tape receiving money mm. from someone. What was the basis of that money? Was it not clear? What was it? Because you see, what you were given was a video with a narration on it. Okay. Now, government says, okay, we've heard you. But can you give us the original tapes so we can listen and make the decision for ourselves? Remember, these cases have gone to court several times. Okay. There's a decision recently on um, secret recordings and all of that. The Supreme Court has pronounced even on this. I, unfortunately, the case does not come to mind readily. Mm. But there are pronouncements of that sort. For the, and again, I'll say it. For the man to be taken and prosecuted, mm. there are bases for all of these things. Mm. You do not just get up and say, okay, so I was seen on tape being uh, get entering into uh, Alaji Suhini's car. Mm. And so on the basis of that, I went to collect money. Mm. And that's the narration that is being given on the video. And we are all supposed to accept that as a reality. Government says, I hear you. This is enough evidential value. Based on that, the man was asked to step aside mm. and investigations <coughs> were to be conducted. Then they requested for the raw evidence. Has it come? I would want to be updated on those matters before we even take a step further to say that because someone has been seen on tape call, so today if we leave these studios and then maybe mm. I've, I've had a conversation with you that I want to procure land you've told me you can help me mm. and I'm seen giving you money then someone says on oh, another man was bribing him because he, he helped him on the show mm. and that is enough that is enough evidential value that the person must be prosecuted and convicted at all costs so for we you should be careful. so for you until you see the raw tape you cannot conclude. I'm not saying that. Mm -hmm. I'm saying that we should be careful of the sort of standards that we are introducing into these discussions for political convenience. Because you know what? Mm -hmm. If that was the case, mm -hmm. then we heard Kanazwe live and colored, making several allegations against the former president. Why was the former president not prosecuted? If that is the sort of standard mm -hmm. that you want us to introduce into public discussions of the sort, then there's other evidence that exists. Mm. The former mm. president. So you see, mm. all I'm seeking to say is that I cannot say that every individual within this government mm. is an angel. But that is why we set up institutions and control mechanisms among others. Mm. That is why as a country, we have agreed that we are going to govern ourselves with a constitution, lay down laws and procedures. Mm. And it is these lay down laws and procedures that we are using and we've continued to use and we've used in the past. The PPA, so, the PPA boss, Jenny Boatin AJ, uh, talents uh, restoration or delivery or, or development. <laughs> I don't, I don't yeah. remember the company, yeah. forgive me. Um, the contract for sale. Manasi Azuri, my good brother, 
brought out that expose. And battled Manasseh. Oh, oh, do oh, do oh, we oh, know... Oh. Allow, allow. No, I'm just ask. giving... I'm battled No, no, I, 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 he's my good friend. From a celebrated and, and, Manasseh as right And brother from GIJ. Anytime, anytime, it's all right. you find, anytime you find the, you know, false introduction of adjectives and mm. adverbs, you know that it's just going along the lines of propaganda. <laughs> You know, the PPA, yeah. allow, me, allow me to learn oh. with him, yeah, with okay, that, the, the PPA that. boss, uh, what, what's, what's the status of that as well? Okay, I believe that the last time we were all told publicly mm. that the matter is to be further investigated. And I believe that Mr. Manasseh Azuri has also been invited to give his version of how things happened and mm. all of that. And I believe that the, uh, the investigation is ongoing. Unfortunately, I do not work for the police. I would have loved, and, and in moments like this, I would have loved to at least have a regular relationship with the police where I, at least I can go for updates. But it also Does it not worry the government that most of these things are hanging and that your opposition is using it? For example, in a matter involving... I think it's very unwise for the opposition to use it because, you see, there's something called due process, which they are very much aware of. Mm. All right? <clears throat> Now, if you attempt to rush or engage in anything where mm. government is seen to be influencing or forcing an outcome, mm. the easiest thing for anybody to do is raise human rights records, human rights issues, mm. and that is that. The investigations are botched. Okay. So if, if we are following, the, and you see, I'd be very happy mm -hmm. for the opposition, for instance, to come and raise, an, you know, raise a case that no due process is not being followed mm. or some wrong has been done mm -hmm. or engaged in in the course of investigations. As at now, all they are seeking to do <coughs> is say that investigations are ongoing and why are investigations ongoing? You know, okay. You know, Johnny, so just, take just, one minute and yes. then you, you can also have one you minute see, on that if Johnny, you want. What remains a fact is that despite the spreaded lies mm. and propaganda against President Mahama, whether with a Ford that is still at the presidency and being used by the presidency or with Sada or Jida. Mm. According to the world recorder of the perception of corruption mm. in this country, mm. he remains the champion when it comes to <sighs> the fight against corruption. He remains the champion. Mm. The records speak to that. Despite the spirited lies mm. that they heaped on him, about that Ford vehicle, mm -hmm. which is still at the presidency and being used by them, he, according to the international agency, mm -hmm. did better, much, much better in the fight against corruption than Nana Kufo The government has shot down and CDD, you see, CDD's and you see, figure that it, and it, see, lost, it lost it lost to see, corruption. You see, the government you see, has shot it down. You see, that's, they, that should, you see, no, the government, what have they shot down? The CDD says... What do you what? expect? Do you expect them to agree with that crown of shame? that they have put on the president, that poor performance that has reduced Ghana's ranking from 48, 43 to about 40 and 41 now. Do you expect them to say anything different? But I'm saying that in the case of even Sada and Jida, mm. you saw a president who moved to prosecute people, mm. to retrieve monies. Mm. Some have been convicted, retrieves monies for the state. Unlike today, like I have told you, mm. where even in the case of the same Sada, now Nada, mm. where tricycles, over 700 of them, cannot be found, the CEO who reported the matter has been fired. You are aware? Mm. The CEO who reported the stealing is fired. Then you go to National Youth Authority. You go to the National Youth Authority. The, the deputy uh, uh, CEOs who exposed their boss on the pre deal were fired. Then the you go to the Gapoha. You go to Gapoha, they re, the CEO exposes the board okay. chairman, he's fired. Thank you. That is the nature of president that we have. Unlike the one who even when they raised their propaganda and their lies, he still went in okay. to deal with Thank what you. could be dealt with. You have had two Where minutes. Where he could you retrieve have had two funds, minutes. Now he did. Also have two Where minutes. he could prosecute people, let's, let's he prosecuted go, let's people. Let's go to Bella. Let's, let's, keep the, let's all keep the lady waiting. Let's go to Bella. And then okay. Nana, I'll give you your two minutes. I'll give you your two minutes. All right. So this one says, good morning, Johnny. There's a serious issue, if not tackled now, would bring damage to the future of our country. Do you know that since the introduction of the standard-based curriculum for the basic schools across the country, there's no single textbook released by NACA to aid in teaching and learning? <coughs> We're in the fourth week of the second term and still nothing yet. Sad, We've man. been told...
to prepare lesson plans and even inspections to be carried out by some officers from the headquarters. This is a more serious issue compared to the new voters register that this government is bent on doing. It's a shame. This is from a concerned citizen. Why did the president say that the ambassador should report corruption to its office so they can manipulate their report fighting, well, so they can manipulate their report? Fighting corruption should be made public and not hidden. This is from Teresin from Kumasi. Good morning, TV3, and good morning to Han Honorable Al Hassan Suyini. The biggest joke of the century for me is the statement made by the president requesting the diplomatic corps to report corrupt officials to his office so that he will once again clear them of any wrongdoing. What has happened to the Australia visa scandal? Charles Bissou alleged scandal, cash for seat saga, PDS scandal, Northern Development Authority Trisco scandal, the 500 plus excavators that got missing, the $12 million fertilizer that got missing and found their way into Cameroon, what happened to the Emery saga, and many more scandals that have rocked this government. For me, this government is the worst government Ghana has ever had. Say no to clearing agents in the Flagstaff House. This is Issa Kantanjiri from WA. Okay, um, good morning, Johnny. Political corruption, including bribery, cronism, nepotism, parochialism, patronage, and influence peddling, appointing his family and friends, are all involved in the above. It shows that the president is not fighting corruption. This is Kweku from La Paz. Good morning, TV3. When corruption is mentioned in Ghana, the NDC party rings a bell. Where would... Uh, where would they have been? Would there have been free SHS if NDC had won the 2016 election? Four more for Nana and four more for Hopes. Hobson Adoye. Okay. Good morning, TV3. Concerning government's assurance to new plan, Anabo Suyini should have, should have confidence in this government because this current president means business with performance and delivery. Four more for Nana to do more. Mathias Bukhari from Tempani. Charles Nyame Asamankesi says, Mr. President's commitment to the fight against corruption is only by words. In action, he's rather fighting those who are helping to fight the menace and protecting his corrupt officials. It's a shame. Regards to Anas Arimiyao, Manasseh Azuri, Charles Bissou, and Asuma Treme. <coughs> Nana Ansu from New Doma Sunyani says, Construct a New Doma road now. Corruption fight won't be won overnight. Akufuado, since when did you know that corruption fight is not easy you see how it is Actually, now in opposition you were always on the neck of jdm of being corrupt and not fighting corruption enough and prosecuting his corrupt appointees so nana don't turn a blind eye and death ear, deaf ears to corruption regards to shanton of shanton classics and Millicent Amankwa from Sinyani. And finally, everything points out to the fact that President Akufuado led MPP government is gradually fulfilling all the electoral promises. The restoration of the teachers and nurses allowance, implementation of the free SHS, 1D1F, distribution of ambulances, reopen, reopening of the Anglo Gold at Anglo Gold, actually, at Obuase, etc. Uh, they are all evidence. Four more years for President Okufuado and four more years for Honorable Sarah Ajua Safo Ya Osankide from Taifa. That's it. Okay, thank you very much indeed. Um, I have an appeal to make if you permit me. No, allow him. Let him have his, okay. ha have his okay. yes, then you so can have per, one minute. Per the standards that Honorable Saini is seeking to introduce this morning as acceptable in these studios. If Which standard to, is that? If I go to my office today and somebody comes to me and says, Oh, Nana Damo, um, if you can help me procure a certain contract, mm -hmm. I'll give you a vehicle. Okay. And then I go and skew everything. That, well, whether I skew everything in the person's favor or not mm -hmm. is really not the case. And I'm able to ensure that the person gets the contract and the person gives me the vehicle. Mm -hmm. All I have to do is when there's some noise around it, I just say that, oh, I handed over the vehicle to mm -hmm. the pool at the Ministry of Energy, and that's acceptable. Mm -hmm. There's nothing wrong with that because you know what? At the end of the day, the car will be in the pool at the Ministry of Energy. Question. So what happened to that process mm. which was laid down for ensuring that vehicles will be procured or for acquisition of vehicles by the Ministry of Energy? Let's not seek to trivialize these issues mm. on, the on the basis of a political altar. Uh, it's, 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 not, it's not done anywhere. Is this how the presidency of the state acquires vehicles through gifts? Don't we have gifts? Oh. President Kufo received gifts from Nigeria. Vehicle allow, allow him, Sweeney. And it's, Libya. Uh, allow him. It's left with uh, 45 seconds no, quickly. Let's, let's, honest, we're wrapping up. So. There we're are gifts up. vehicles. Sweeney, the allow him. Pool. Allow him to have his. Uh, from Libya. Nana, Nana, and you have from 45 Nigeria. seconds. This is becoming unbecoming. It's oh, becoming how, too really? boisterous. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> you should allow me to make my points. Listen, right, the vehicles from, from Nigeria and from, and from Libya, these were from what? Presidents? 
These were from a political class. These were from diplomatic gifts. You are taking gifts from a diplomatic gifts. Is that how we are? Like, like you're asking listen, the listen, question. For example, for example, balance the equation. If the president of Nigeria comes to Ghana and decides that oh, I'm going to gift the, the president, a, a, you know, something, it is seen that he's gifting the nation a gift, not okay. necessarily the president. Okay. Now you are taking gifts from a businessman. Is the Ford expedition being used by President Kufado? I don't know whether it, it is, is being used. Listen, yeah. even if it is being used by the point is that we have laid down process. And you see, their disregard for due process and laws okay. is what is becoming obvious on this program. Okay, thank you, gentlemen. A so strong you, disregard. Yes, yes, you see, a strong there's, there's, disregard. There's going to be, for, there's for, going to be, for, there's for, going to be for, an for. important meeting today okay. at the Electoral Commission. Okay. And I want to join calls that I have heard being made by Honorable Hassan Ayarga mm. to the effect that. If it is possible, mm. and I, I am sure it can be made possible, that meeting should be telecast live. And I appeal to you, Johnny, and, and others, pay? please, I appeal to you. Even the state broadcaster can do it for us. Mm. Because, you see, we don't want a situation where after that meeting, people will be telling us their versions of what happened okay. at the meeting. Okay. Let us all watch what happened, just like we watched the Supreme Court case. <laughs> okay. Even the Supreme Court, <laughs> even the court was telecast live for us. How much more, so how that, much that, more that was, meeting, <laughs> administrative that, meeting? That, 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 that was based on the magnanimity <laughs> of her ladyship. No, but, no, but, yes, so I'm saying that even, even the court, if we were allowed, meetings, allowed to follow proceedings okay. at the court, okay. if we were allowed hey. to follow proceedings at the then court, the then the ECC meeting okay. should be <laughs> <laughs> I get you. Honorable Al Hassan Suhili is the member of parliament for the Tamale North so constituency. Uh, he's been here on the ticket of the NDC. And also, Nana Damwa, he speaks for the uh, energy ministry. Uh, thank you. you we, we will consider that.